Hi, I'm Jeff Lawson uh, from Twilio. Uh, what Twilio is, is a platform that lets engineers build voice communication applications. So applications that make and receive phone calls or send and receive text messages, very simply, and it's designed for web developers. You, know, you don't have to know anything about telecom. You don't have to all the complexities there. We just take care of that and let developers build using simple uh, web development methodologies voice applications. And so no longer do you have to invest a lot of money or a lot of time or hire very talented people to build applications, you know, things that make and receive phone calls like IVRs, PBXs. In the lead gen world, it's a lot of paper call, call tracking, you know, hot transfer, uh, IVR type stuff. Uh, used to be that you needed to invest a lot of money. You had to buy hardware, you had to buy software, you needed knowledgeable people, the telecom guy on the team, right? Um, and uh, with Twilio, though, we just focus on very simple, uh, simple methodologies and simple uh, APIs for web developers, commodity. Everybody's got web developers to be able to build those kinds of applications. So, like I said, we're a very horizontal platform. We've got people building all kinds of applications, like PBXs, IVRs, but one of the verticals we've seen just explode has been lead, lead generation. And so, we're here essentially, one, you know, supporting our customers who are here and doing things, but two, learning more about what people need and what people are building in the lead gen space on top of us. And, and one of the themes here, I'd say overall, is the fact that voice leads, when you get a lead on the phone, it's much more valuable, it's much more likely to close than just getting data. Because data can be sold multiple times, it's a low level of interest, you don't know what it is, a lot of fake data goes into it, et cetera. But someone picks up the phone and calls, they're expressing a very strong interest in whatever product's being sold, right? And so those calls and those leads are very valuable. And so what a lot of people do are here, a lot of people are doing here is building systems to vet those, route them, get them to the best person to close the sale as quickly as possible. And so Twilio is one of the platforms that lets people experiment and build the right solutions to uh, optimize that whole experience to, to close the sale. It's interesting, the whole voice world, it's kind of funny, people have been using phones for 100 years, right? But this whole idea of voice leads is kind of new, which is surprising to me actually coming from outside the leads world to, under, to see that, oh, this is like, you know, People are surprised by this, right? This is, you know, it's actually controversial. Like, wh why? what's controversial about letting someone pick up a phone and buy something from you, right? Uh, and essentially, what used to, the, the fear used to be was that, great, if I put a phone number on my creative, then someone's going to pick up the phone, call, and me as the lead generator am going to get cut out of the loop. And I'm not going to get credit for that sale. And that was the concern, and so there would be a lot of fights sort of about, no, you, you can't put your phone number in the creative, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so what's happening now, though, is that there's a lot of ways to track that. The cost of phone numbers and the cost of building applications that track the usage of those phone numbers has, is falling you know, very fast. So it used to be hundreds of dollars to have a trackable phone number. Now it's you know, a dollar or less for a phone number, and building those apps and building the tracking into it using a platform like Twilio's is very simple. So you can have web developers that are relatively inexpensive, build these apps, iterate on them, A-B test them, multivariate test them, figure out what works best, and um, close those, those leads in a trackable way, which is the key thing. Because if it's not trackable, then that nobody wants to participate in it. Right. And so what we're doing is letting people build these trackable apps that also lead to the conversions. Uh, it's a win-win for everybody. The consumer gets what they want, they want to just pick up the phone, you know, they're researching insurance or whatever, and they find a, a page on the internet that's all about insurance and even a particular you know, vendor or someone they want to work with, great. They get to pick up the phone and talk to that person right then and there, um, which is what they want to do. The lead seller uh, has a trackable now solution, and the lead buyer gets a highly interested party on the phone ready to make a sale. So everybody wins. Well, that's perfect, that's wonderful. One of the things we've noticed here <clears throat> is that um, a lot of the lead generation business, a lot of just internet commerce in general, is not from the major brands, what people have always thought of as major brands like Procter & Gamble or uh, even the major car brands. Um, when, do you see those major brands coming into this space at some point using these practices? It's interesting, you know, I, I, may, I may not be the best person to opine on that because, again, we're a little bit outside of the lead space. But what I've, what I've definitely seen is that I, I think there's certain ch uh, categories and channels where this works really well. 
Um, it's things where you're primarily selling something that's a intellectual product, let's say. Like insurance. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Intangible is probably the better word, right? It's an intangible product. So you're buying it from someone where the phone is the, uh, the place to do it. Um, but if you say Procter & Gamble, if I need shampoo, I, I walk down to the store, I buy shampoo. Um, so it's a great question. I, I don't know that I'm the best person. I'm sure there's creative people in that room over there figuring out how to get Procter & Gamble to be a part of this because it just you know, opens up the world of opportunity, right? Uh, and there are a lot of tangible products. Like I've seen, uh, you know, if you include in lead gen the world of like television advertising um, and you see a lot of those, you know, uh, you know health, you know, uh, like, you know, what was it, Wilford Brimley? What was it, what were those late night commercials with Wilford Brimley where he's selling, you the know. The grape nuts. Yeah, or the, um, uh, and it was like home healthcare, medical something or other, right? And that's basically lead gen too, right? You know, you're, you're saying, hey, this guy's gonna make the commercial, which is gonna generate interest, generate leads, and then we're gonna take those and flip those over to the company that actually has the right product to sell for that. Um, and basically it's saying, hey, we're gonna create, create a more efficient market for finding leads and driving them to the right product. And that's what lead gen's all about, right? Efficiency. And uh, letting the you know company, say that medical company or grape nuts or whatever it is, focus on building their product and opening up a new channel for bringing customers into that product. And whether it's via television, radio, internet, billboards, whatever it is, there's a whole ecosystem out there of people separating the act of producing and selling it from the act of advertising, marketing, and driving demand for it. It's an interesting analogy, your ecosystem. Speaking of that ecosystem, uh, it's traditionally a $40 billion uh, industry with you know paid advertising, paid marketing type of stuff. Clearly there's a shift from traditional media, mm -hmm. from print, from radio, from broadcast television to digital. In your mind, what do you think, what, what, what do you call that shift? And, and talk to us about what you see coming down the pike in that world. What do I call that shift? Progress. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's efficiency, right? With the internet, you can target much better. You know, people search. I mean, Google has built the, you know, delivery mechanism for finding what people want and connecting them with advertisers who can provide it. Um, so it's just super targeted. So you, you know, someone starts with a Google search, they end up on a landing page where you offer that product. Um, and it's just highly targeted, highly cost effective. And, it, and that's just, you know, that's, that's just science, right? You, you uh, have a commercial on TV, right? You're just blasting out a message. Now you can look at the demographics of an individual show or time slot or whatever, and you know, do better than random, but it's still pretty random, right? Um, so it's all you know, one-to-one -one, uh, individual, and not even just the person, but the person with an intent, right? We're just getting closer and closer and closer uh, of taking the right offer and the right person and matching them up, and it's all about efficiencies.